Hey guys, Dow Phoenix here, and because Prometheus uh, just is recently coming out, I decided let's take a look at Alien 3, because it's like the oldest Alien video game that's really anything to do with movies, so yeah. But anyways, uh, I'm sure it's a shitty game. I mean, we're talking about LG in here. I mean, come on, LG in. <laughs> so yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and get started here. I guess uh, select starts the game. I didn't have any chance of making the game easier. Oh yeah, shit. I have my controls all mixed up. Apparently my gun has like no range at all. There's no visible bullets. But okay, well I guess the bullets are there. So yeah. Fuck you, alien. Oh there we go. We got grenades. That's cool. You know what? Um, I'm sure it gets much shittier later, but so far, at least game, this game actually functions correctly, unlike uh, a lot of LGN games. So that's a good start. Uh, apparently, I'm running out of my fucking ammo right now. Okay, you got flamethrower here. Or, well, I thought it was a flamethrower. Apparently, it's like a shotgun, I guess. Yeah. Anyways, um, the only alien game I ever played was the uh, Aliens. Three on. Uh, I forget if it was the Sega Genesis or Super Nintendo. I think it was the Sega Genesis one. Uh, so yeah, I figured I'd give this one a go just to see how it goes. Um, it's that so far it doesn't seem too bad. I mean, graphics are definitely on the weaker end of the Nintendo library, but uh, there we go. It seems to have okay gameplay, so. I gotta knock it too much. Okay, there we go. That's how you do that. Cool, cool. Alright. I think I'm kinda liking the shotgun. Oh crap! Freaking A. Okay, we'll find this. There we go. And no enemy respawn, which is always a plus. I hate it when games just respawn enemies because. Oh, the Super Nintendo doesn't, or Super Nintendo, the NES doesn't have enough RAM to not respawn enemies. And that's, uh, pretty much a lie. Oh, what the fuck was that? Can I shoot up? I guess not, I guess it just, just got me. I can't shoot in the air either, that's, that could be troublesome later, we'll see. But yeah, uh, platforming leaves much to be desired. It's not completely bad, but you can't, like, move Harley down there, and, um, the collision detection for the platforms isn't the best. It's not Predator bad, but, I mean, <laughs> it's probably made by the same people that made Predator. It's like, okay, let's not make it quite as bad, let's try to actually make okay platforming this time, except it's not it's still really shitty. I mean, it's better at least, right? I mean, that's okay. Um, Okay, I guess I... I win there. I freed the hostage. Oh shit, is that a time limit? Wow. Well, that's really fucking fair. Okay. Okay, I can't go through there. Alright, well... Yeah, apparently that is a time limit. I got eight seconds until something happens. So I don't... <laughs> know what that something is quite yet, but... Uh... Oh, I failed to rescue all the prisoners. Well, yeah. Okay, so obviously I can't fuck around in this game. So, um, I guess it's gonna show me where they are this time. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's killing them off too. That's cool. I mean, it's pretty shitty. I mean, considering how little I've played so far, I mean, I didn't get enough time. Obviously. So you pretty much have to waste a life just to know where you're supposed to go. Okay, so I have four minutes to save everybody. Let's do this. Okay. Alright, we got an alien down. Okay, I think we got one coming up here. No, not, not in this room. Shit, okay. Switch to the shotgun. 
can't fuck around in this game, obviously. Okay. Ah! It's like an alien or something, you know? Fucking asshole. You know, I probably could have saved them on time last time if it wasn't for the shitty jumping mechanics. But I digress. We'll just give it another go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright, here we go. Fuck you, asshole. Alien. Oh, what the... I like how the character just falls down and, like, they're not even affected. But alien, alien doesn't try to attack them or be vicious in any way. Oh, what the? You see that shit? I just bounced off the fucking wall. Like a fucking ball, you know? Like, what the fuck's up with that? Okay. Oh! Asshole. Take that. There you go. Oh, shit! That actually took me by surprise. I didn't see that happen. Okay. I got too much... I, I have only rescued one prisoner. I got two minutes left. Let's see, was there one up here? Nope. Okay. Got some kind of good, so... Alright, there we go. Down to just two prisoners. Hey! They're conveniently placed next to each other, so I think there's just the one on the right side we have to get, and we're good. Alright, so let's go get them saved. Um, oh yeah, this is kind of creepy, like... Like the little uh, things you have to crawl through, you know, or... It kind of reminds me of Alien 3. You know, that's kind of a cool touch. I mean, I mean, so far, I mean, this ain't a terrible game. You know, I'm surprised to say that, but, uh, you know, because it is LGN we're talking about. I mean, Master is a shit fest. But, uh, okay, I guess uh, I wasted all that time. I'm probably going to get to the prisoner in time this time, so I'll have to really pay attention to where they are. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Crawl through that air vent for saving mankind. Jump through these shitty platforms to save mankind. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. Like I said, it's not a bad game so far, but it doesn't mean it doesn't have bad fucking jumping mechanics. I mean, a game can have bad jumping mechanics, not be a bad game. But, yeah. Whatever. Okay, so anybody who's seen Prometheus yet, just let me know what you think. Um, let's see if the game can tell us where this prisoner's at. Um, I think I was actually going in the right direction? I don't know. I only have one try left according to the game. Stick with the shotgun. Seems to be pretty effective, so... So ammo doesn't go up and, like, smoke easily. Oh, he didn't even touch me. Freaking butthole. Okay, here we go. So we know that three of the prisoners are all in pretty close proximity to each other on the left side, so... That's what we're gonna focus on here. And then we'll try to get over to the other ones. Oh, I can actually jump high enough to... Oh, but of course I can't jump with that one. <laughs> that would make too much sense. Okay. You notice how Ridley doesn't look anything like Ridley? I mean, I guess I can see, kind of, with the, they're trying to do the ball thing with her. So at least they saw, like, a picture from the set of the movie when they were making the game. <laughs> I'm sure they probably had to rely more on resources from aliens than anything else the, you know, the, the second movie. Yeah, screw it. That's faster than actually trying to jump down the platform, so... What's the point? Oh, shit. Almost got it again. There we go. Okay, we're pretty close to these prisoners now, so... Oh, yeah, there's nothing. There's gear up there, but not prisoners, so... Okay, great. That gives me plenty of time to uh, save the last person if I happen to get stuck or something. Okay. Oh. Okay, there we 
go. Wait, air duct? Can't go that way. Okay, yeah. Well, I guess whenever I realized you can actually jump up those, so at least the game programmers realized, well, you gotta jump the mechanic for Shetty, but we're gonna at least give the player a tiny bit of a break <laughs> in the game. Um, so thank you guys. Yeah, we have to go all the way around because apparently there's no way to get to the other side from where I was, so. I have to go all down here. It's a game of attrition as far as time. You have to know what the fuck you're doing, I guess, to play it. Uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, it might be nice if I actually timed it right, huh? Alright, we saved all of them. But the timer's still going. So. What the fuck does this mean exactly? I don't get it. Okay, pause the game. That didn't seem to accomplish much. So I guess uh, maybe I have to go back to the top. I remember something of this nature, you know, some similar mechanic to this in uh, uh, the Alien 3 game on the Genesis. It wasn't exactly the same, but it was similar to this. Okay, yeah. Slide down for great justice. <laughs> okay, out of time. Okay, well, um, the gameplay isn't bad. I mean, it's actually a very functional LGN game, which is a really a big surprise. But um, I just the game doesn't explain what the fuck you're supposed to do after you save the prisoners. You know, as you saw, I barely had enough time to save all four prisoners, and then... What the fuck was I supposed to do there? I mean, it wasn't like, oh, you know, when I died, like, afterwards, oh, after you save the prisoners, go here, and then show on the map. Well, that would have been pretty nice, but yeah. So, just a obligatory let's play of a kind of shitty game. I mean, it is LGN. We'll say it's a good game by their standards. <laughs> um, hey, great game even for their standards. I mean, not probably not their best, but probably one of their best. Which isn't really saying much, because their games do suck. But, um... As far as actual game standards go, it's very mediocre. But I guess it came out late in the NES's lifespan. Nobody really gave a shit about NES games at that point, so I guess they were... They, they, they could have gotten away with doing a shittier game. So, at least they actually tried. Yeah, that's all I gotta say for now, guys. Down Phoenix out.